Tango Oaks Vineyard is one of the key Riesling sites for us here at Red Newt. Uh, it's actually one of the two that we work with exclusively at this point. Uh, it's a pretty wild site. It's really close to the winery. Uh, actually, as we're recording, it's uh, just maybe, I don't know, half a mile down slope from us. Uh, it's easy to get to, but the site itself was pretty uh, profoundly changed in the 1930s during a big flood uh, that dropped 18 inches of rain in a day. Uh, and where Tango Oaks is now had been a bit of a break in the slope going down to the lake. And when they got there, that break had been filled in with about 20 feet deep of gravel. Yeah. So what results in is uh, vines that have to work a little bit harder to really get into the ground because there's not a lot of topsoil there. Um, so it is really gravelly, but it's also very well drained as a result, which in the Finger Lakes, since it is a cool climate that also has a lot of moisture, uh, is really key uh, in keeping the vineyards healthy and disease free. Uh, which Tango does a remarkable job of doing. Um, and Tango actually is one of my favorite sites to work with as well because it's really where we do a lot of our kind of small lot experiments, let's call them. Um, so we do the first couple of rows in the vineyard get done for sect. Uh, the majority of like the main block becomes uh, the traditional Tango Oaks dry Riesling that you see as a single vineyard expression. And then the last four to six rows uh, usually have the option to become something really special as far as like um, a late harvest or an ice wine. The site uh, is also relatively unique for being planted with Alsatian clone Riesling. That's not a, a common choice and is almost a singular choice in the Finger Lakes. Uh, it's a, a clone that tends to have slightly more open clusters, a little better for disease pressure. It's also a clone that uh, really enjoys the, the heat that Tango Oaks accumulates, both for being in the banana belt and getting the southeast kind of afternoon sun exposure that, uh, that we get here. Uh, and it also really likes the radiant heat that comes up from the rocks uh, underneath it at night. Right now out in the market you can find the 2014 vintage of Tango Oaks Riesling uh, along with uh, a few different small releases from the, the late harvest programs that Meg's mentioned. Uh, and those are well worth keeping an eye out for when you see them. Uh, there's sweeter expressions, there's a late harvest dry Riesling style that is really singular within the region. Uh, and the ice wines will be uh, something that we're really proud to, to hang our head on.